here in this specimen we have removed the anterior wall of right ventricle and uh, we can see the two parts of right ventricle the inflowing part and outflowing part this outflowing part is continuous with the pulmonary trunk we will extend our cut on pulmonary trunk and upper part of infundibulum to see the structure of pulmonary wall this is interior of right ventricle the inflowing part and outflowing part inflowing part is rough due to trabeculic corny papillary muscles cordi tendini and leaflets of tricuspid valve then here from septal wall to anterior wall one band is present this is moderator band it is the example of bridges moderator band this band contain the right bundle branch of conducting system of heart this is moderator band from septal wall to anterior wall this is moderator band then we can see here papillary muscles this, this is septal papillary muscle cordi tendini and uh, the septal cusp of tricuspid valve and on posterior side here is posterior cusp of tricuspid valve the posterior papillary muscles and cordi tendini arising from the posterior papillary muscles posterior papillary muscle cordi tendini and the posterior cusp this is called as infundibulum of right ventricle this conical portion is smooth and uh, this is supra ventricular crest divides the inflowing and outflowing portion supra ventricular crest and above this crest this is infundibulum of right ventricle we have taken a cut on pulmonary trunk and here we can see the structure of pulmonary trunk here are the semilunar valves semilunar valve guarding the opening of pulmonary trunk this fossa this space in between the valve and uh, the wall of pulmonary trunk is called as sinus okay so this is outflowing part of right ventricle